Today, I'm going to show you how to put a ham clock on a Raspberry Pi. You probably have a couple of these sitting around doing nothing, so you might as well put it to good use. It's free, and it's easy, and it's this time on Ham Radio Tube. So I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4 in this demonstration. It does work with a Raspberry Pi 3. It should work with pretty much every kind of Raspberry Pi. So let's hop over to the Raspberry Pi desktop and dive right in. So the first thing we want to do is open up a browser and we want to go to clearskyinstitute.com forward slash ham forward slash ham clock. Make sure the H and the C in ham clock are both capital. We also need to open up a terminal window because we're going to be copying and pasting some commands in here. Now there's a couple ways to do this. So if we scroll down here, we're going to click on this little tab that says desktop. The easiest way and the way we're going to do is uh, to simply follow this first step to install ham clock on a Raspberry Pi. Follow these steps. Uh, we can also scroll down and there is another way to do it, uh, which says to install ham clock on other Unix like systems. Follow these steps works for Raspberry Pi, too, if you per prefer the scenic route. There's also a way to set the resolution for your screen. We can, it's going to automatically default to 800 by 480, but you can also choose these uh, resolutions as well. We'll, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. For now, we're just going to do the stock install here. So the first thing we're going to need to do in our terminal is simply type CD. Then we're going to go ahead and copy this curl command. And we're just going to copy all this. And we're going to paste it into our terminal. And then we're going to copy this chmod command. Paste that over. And we're going to do this install command. And paste that over. And hit enter. So now we're going to get a series of questions. This script will install ham clock on Raspberry Pi. Proceed yes or no. I'm going to hit yes and enter. And now it's going to go through the whole installation thing. This will take a few minutes, uh, probably two or three minutes, depending on which uh, version of Raspberry Pi you're using and the speed of your SD card and all that. So we'll let this go through its thing and uh, we'll be back when something happens. All right, now we're getting a question. Here's where it's going to say, do we want to, to uh, install a desktop icon? I do, so I'm going to hit yes and enter. And it's going to say, do we want to install the user guide on the desktop? I'm going to hit no, but you can. Uh, you can download the user guide right here from this Clear Sky Institute website. So I'm not going to put the user guide on here, but you can if you want. It kind of shows you how to, uh, how to use ham clock a bit. So we'll go ahead and hit no on that one and start ham, cli ham clock automatically each time Pi is booted. You can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no on that because we can use the desktop icon. You can also start it in terminal if you'd like. You'd simply type ham clock space ampersand right here. So now you can see here's the ham clock desktop. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna minimize my, uh, I don't know why I have a low voltage warning, but we'll go ahead and ignore that. So now I'm gonna double click ham clock and we're going to execute this. Just hit the execute. Don't hit execute in terminal and that will open it up. And we're going to click anywhere. So use your mouse and click anywhere. We want to go into the setup here. So here it's asking for our call sign. I'll type in all these caps here. K8MRD. Uh, we're going to use our latitude and longitude if you know it. Or you can just put in your grid square here. I'm in echo mic 20, I think FR maybe. Uh, that sounds about right. You can also use uh, your Wi-Fi to get your longitude and latitude. I use the Compass app on my phone that tells me the longitude and latitude. So that's where we're going to set up our call sign here. And up here where it says page, we can go ahead and scroll there. I'm not going to put the cluster on. You can do that if you want, though. I'm not going to use any of this stuff. And again, the, uh, the manual kind of walks you through all of these different steps. Uh, map center, because I'm at 95 west approximately, I'm going to put 95 west there. And what that's going to do is kind of center me on the map here uh, in the Houston area. And let's see here. Here's we can sort 
a few different things. I like day, month, year, so I'll click that. Week starts on Sunday. Full screen, I'm going to change to no, but we can go to full screen. Um, and I'll show you why I'm choosing no here in a minute. Um, you can change any of these other modes here if you want. I pretty much leave these all alone. Here you can change colors of... Um, you'll, you'll get like a all the contacts that are being made if you set that up and we'll, we'll show that. You can change the colors of the bands and all that stuff here. And you can always get back to this screen later. I'll show you how to do that. So that's that and then we can hit done. And it's gonna go through here and uh, sort some stuff out really quick. Only takes a couple seconds. And here we are in ham clock. And that's it. So see how we centered I'm right there, we centered the map uh, right where I am. So, we can do all kinds of stuff with ham clock. The one thing we can't do is maximize it. See how we have all this black border around here. So we can, we can kind of change that in the uh, terminal and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But basically everything on here is customizable. So these four windows up top can give you all kinds of information simply by clicking on them towards the top. So here you can see it as ADIF. Uh, let's say I want to have, we can have POTA spots. We can have all this stuff. Uh, let's go with live spots. Uh, we can turn off, I don't want ADIF, we'll turn that off. Pretty much whatever you want. So let's just keep it on those two for now and then we can hit okay. The next window here, I like to keep some of the kind of geomagnetic solar stuff going on. Let's hit OK here. Actually, I'm going to turn the moon on on this one. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to cycle through all of these uh, periodically. And then here, uh, I just like to leave it on the sun, which is the uh, SDO or whatever that says. Kind of small on my screen here. And then over here, we've got different solar weather stuff. I just like to use this middle one here, give you the the uh, solar weather there. And then you can change the background of the of the call sign there. So uh, you just by clicking on the background there and then you can click in the middle here and that will change whoops the color of your call sign if you want it to stand out. And it's a pretty neat little thing over on terrain. You can choose all kinds of different settings for how this map looks. It's just a really cool uh, thing to have here on your desktop. Or I like I have one of these in my kitchen on a TV so I can see uh, what's happening while I'm while I'm cooking dinner and stuff. So very, very useful tool. The manual kind of shows you how to go through all this stuff. So I'm not going to do too much of an in-depth look there. But let's go back to the uh, resolution here and I'll show you how to change this. Now I'm on a smaller uh, uh, screen here so it might not show up but let's open up our window again, our browser and I'll show you how to change that. It's very very easy. It's just a couple uh, lines of code that we need to copy and paste. So let's say we scroll down here. Here's where we can change things, okay? So this these three lines of code are how we're going to change the resolution. So right now, I'm at 800 by 480. But let's say I want to change it to 1600 by, 1960, uh, by 960, excuse me. We're going to copy this line of code here, the CDESP ham clock, which I'm actually, I think I'm already in here, but that's okay. No, I'm not. So we'll paste that there, hit enter. Then we're going to copy this make command. And this only works for these resolutions. I've tried to set it for others and it won't work. But here's that 9, 1600 by 960. And then we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And now it's going to rebuild the program and it's going to set it for that resolution. And then we just need to run one more command. So we'll let this uh, do its thing, takes a minute or two. And then we'll run one more command and then we'll open up uh, ham clock again and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and close ham clock for now. And now that that's done, all we need to do is this sudo make install script that we will copy and paste into here and hit enter. And now it's ready to go. 
So we'll go ahead and minimize these windows again. And we'll open up ham clock, hit execute. And now you can see it is much bigger. And now you can see we're way bigger than my screen, but I'm on a smaller screen. Uh, so that's how you change that. And if you want to get out of here, hit this uh, long press, this uh, lock button for about three seconds and then let go. And I'm going to go ahead and exit ham clock because this is not the resolution for me. But if you did want to use this ham clock as like a dedicated kind of geocron type thing on its own monitor you can do it by using uh these different uh resolutions now i found that it doesn't really work well on a 720 monitor but here's what i tried the, a couple different times uh, or a couple different resolutions so the, the 3200 by 1920 here's what it looks like on a 42 inch 4k monitor still uh it's still not fully gonna fill the screen uh but it's most of it you're still gonna have black bars around it and then using the 1600 by 960 now i'm able to get most of the full screen here is my this is a 32 inch 1080 uh monitor that i use here as my computer monitor so does look good one thing to note if you're playing around with these resolutions uh this middle 2400 by 1440 that's actually a wrong bit of uh, code there it's only supposed to be one x in there just type in make space hyphen J space four space ham ham clock hyphen and then whatever your resolution. I'm going to go back to 800 by 480 and hit return and it'll uh, go back and set the resolution and then you may need to make that pseudo make install and then your uh, once you once you reopen ham clock again it'll be at that resolution. And also, if you go back into the settings of Ham Clock and you turn that uh, full screen on, basically what it does is, so in the last uh, couple images we saw, we still had this kind of computer bar up here. But now this is what it looks like if we turn that full screen on. And that script is going to run, those options are going to run anytime you restart Ham Clock and where it says... Uh, click anywhere to get into settings you go into the settings and then change that full screen to on and uh, that's what it'll look like so pretty neat and again if you just want to have it kind of running on your desktop uh, you can do that as well I've got it on uh, 1080p right now so I can't show it but if you just wanted to have it kind of off to the side as a little window just leave it at that 800 uh, by 480 resolution and you are good to go so I hope that makes getting a ham clock on your Raspberry Pi very easy and accessible. I know if I can do it, anyone can, because I am not a computer guy. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Ham Radio Tube 73.